we're going to talk more about the dynamic array filter function and the logic that's in it because i keep playing with these things and it's pretty cool and i hope that you are playing with these things all right they do some amazing stuff but it's not so easy to see what it's doing so that's why you gotta play i'm also peeling back the curtain so that you can see how i work i make up nonsensical models play around move stuff and see what happens and then figure out what's going on and then when i get in a real situation it's game time i know what's going on let's do it the model I have has got colors, sizes, and availabilities. So let's build a filter dynamic array function. And we're going to look for big and yes. Big sizes and yes for availability. Here we go. Equals filter. My array is this table comma include include what I want open parentheses size is equal to big in double quotes close parentheses asterisk for and open parentheses available equals yes in double quotes close parentheses close parentheses enter that is everything that's both big and yes for available. Now, from the last video on this, I put in a minus sign. Do you remember what that's going to do for us? Let's do it. Instead of the asterisk, delete, minus, enter. This gives us big or yes, not both. Now, let's play with these operators. Number one. What if I put in a greater than sign? The greater than sign is giving me everything that's big and not a yes. So we've got big, not available, big on order. We don't have anything to do with medium or small whatsoever. Next. Let's do the less than sign. This gives us all yeses that are not also big. So we've got everything that's a medium and available and a small that's available. We don't care about anything that's on order or not available. We don't care about anything that's big either, whether it's available on order or not available. Number two. Not equal to. Let's do that. This is like the minus sign. Either big or yes, but not both. Number three. Now, what will equals do for us? Pop that in. Enter. This is where things are going to get strange. What the hell is going on here? We've got big yes, medium no. Let's look at something that's not on the list. Red big no is not on the list. It does have big. It does not have a yes. Purple big no is not on the list. So what equal is doing for us is saying I want both or I want neither. Now let's look at an example because it took a while to think about why would you want both or neither? Let's say that I'm looking at condos and I have a concern that if I live on the first or second floor, I'm going to get robbed. But then I don't want to live higher up and not have a balcony or a patio. I want both or I want neither higher floor and a balcony lower floor no balcony that's how i wind up with condo two it's on the third floor with a balcony 
Condo 5, second floor, no balcony. What's not on the list? Condo 8 is not on the final list. It's on the first floor with a balcony or a patio. And the burglars are waiting to break in and get my stuff. Number 4. Less than or equal to. <laughs> this is crazy. Enter. Okay, so we're looking at big, less than, or equal to yes. So we do have big yes. We've got medium no. This just looks kind of crazy. But this is what's happening. We want everything that's a yes. Of everything else that's a no or an on order. We want it if it's not big. But what would be a better example? Let's look at this. I've got 13 schools I'm looking at. And commute and school quality are what's important to me. I'm willing to look at any excellent school, no matter the length of the commute. For good and fair schools, I'll look at them if the commute is not long. Let's make this formula equals close parentheses, close parentheses, enter. School number eight is not on the final list because it's got a long commute and it's only a good school. But I will do school number three, even though it's a long commute, it's an excellent school. Let's think about another example of this, because this is weird. What if we go back to our condo example? What happens if we make this one less than or equal to? It says, show me everything that has a patio or a balcony. Anything that does not have a patio or a balcony, only show me floors one or two. This is an example of somebody who insists on a patio or a balcony. And if they can't have one, then they're only willing to live on the first floor or the second floor. There's a lot in this. Lots of thinking, but it's pretty cool. The dynamic arrays, the filter function, and this logic. Play with them. Get to know them. They're powerful. See you in the next video.